All right, the next little lesson here is on one four, formatting strings and counting. Numbers in that string and spaces in that string. So some contents in this document. You'll be able to use, to format strings using the plus sign to add strings together. You'll be able to count a number of spaces in a string. You'll be able to count a particular letters in a string. You'll be able to count numbers in a string slash list. You'll be able to count words in a string. You'll count characters in a string. You'll be able to convert to uppercase. You'll be able to convert all the letters into lowercase. You'll be able to return the index. You'll be able to use replacement. And you'll be able to find a word in a string. All right, we got a lot here. So let's get going. So I'm going to first I'm going to hide this. So I'm going to maximize this screen as much as I can for you. I'm going to pop up the console, Python console here on the bottom. Now what we're going to do, we're going to hit File, right click on the new, and we're going to do Two seconds. All right, here we go. So we're gonna right click. We're not right click. We're just gonna click new. And we're gonna type in Python file. We're gonna call this one formatting strings. Don't forget the underscore formatting strings .py. So that being said. First, before we what we did, we just put the little plus signs in to our little quotes when we did our print statement. We could also do the same concept with storing variables. So let's say your first name, John, last name, variable, Smith. I'm gonna make another variable called message. And a message could be the first name variable. Plus, we could do a little space in between. I'm using these little plus signs to give. We're putting variables together, so it's all on one line. So first plus a little space, plus then the last. And then I could add a little message too if I really wanted to. Like, is a coder. And if I want to print that out, I'm going to do print. I'm going to print that particular message. Well, that explains that. So first, there we go. So I'm going to run formatting strings. And look at that, John Smith is a coder. Oh, notice here, between John Smith that little space then go in between, so make sure we hit a little space. But just inserting a little space bar. So John Smith is a coder. Now if I didn't use this, I didn't use the plus signs, we're gonna get an error message. So that's why we need the little plus signs. Because we're adding little variables and strings together. And we could do that. That's one way we could format some strings. Now if you wanted this message on two lines, we have to make a separate variable and say message to variable and say that would be the last name. And we delete this. Then you're gonna see, okay, if we run this, we're only gonna get John as a coder. We also have to take care of message message to see so message there and then print message to and that's how we're gonna get something on two lines so John is a coder and then Smith so that's how you do separate lines but if we wanted it all just be in one line just like I said before plus your last name plus is a coder that meshes too. That's how we get all on one line. Now you can put two different variables. 
Why don't you uh, work on you try number one? Now another way we could reformat strings would be if I want to take this message and we could use the F key and parentheses. And we'll let's delete this whole thing. We need to F that. And then F for first. We could actually put variables inside little brackets like this. This is another way that we could do the same thing. If we all wanted an entire string. Last bracket is a quarter. So if you want to use just one set of quotations. You could use these little brackets around the variables that you want to include in a string and I'll do the same job that we're just doing before. John Smith is a coder. If I take away these little brackets, put a little space in between, you see they get the same result. John Smith is a coder. That is the other one, that's our first example. So that's just on our way you can reformat strings. So why don't you do why don't you do the you try number two in your notes? Alright, next we're going to count the number of spaces in a string. So why don't we do a new file once again? So file new Python file. Let's call this counting the spaces dot py. with little underscores separating the words, of course. And let's say we have a string. I'll call it string one. And that will be equal to, hello, I hope you are having a good day. Or a nice day. So there's our string. Now to find out, make it count. We're going to do dot c-o-u-n-t for count. And then inside those little brackets, I'm going to put the little single quotes in. And I want to count the number of spaces, so I put a little space bar in between. And then I'm going to say print. And we're going to print out string one. Let's see what happens here. Slide that up. File save all. And I'm going to run the counting. And it says eight. So is there eight spaces? I bet there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces for a bracket to bracket. So that makes sense. So that's how we count the number of spaces. Why don't you do examples three and four in your notes, or sorry, example number three in your notes. All right, next up we're gonna do counting the number of letters in a string. So let's do another file, file, new python file and we're going to call this counting particular underscore and then underscore letter dot py so we're counting a particular letter so once again I'm just going to make a string I'm going to say it's equal to I'll put in three a's one, two, three, four, five, six B's, and two C's in this string. We're just going to be counting letters, so it doesn't have to really make sense. And so we're going to say print. Now, before what we did, we said dot count. And then we did spacebar to count the number of spaces. We could do count the letter of A's. I'm going to print out the string. 
and then our result we're gonna get three because there's three A's we want to do the same thing we want to count the number of B's we found out there's six B's if we want to do the number of C's we see that there's two C's now we don't have to always put the dot count right there at the end we can also put it also in the print statement if we want if we so choose like this so we're going to talk about the string I'm going to say string dot count and I'll say count the number of A's so we could put it in there too if we want if our heart desires either way is acceptable so it'll be three C's I'm oh, sorry three A's six B's and two C's so that's how you could count particular letters in a string why don't you do example number four before we move forward now this same concept can be applied to numbers also so let's also do this with numbers or integers so let's do file new python file I'm going to say counting numbers.py. And with that, let's do a list of numbers. So let's say list. And we're going to do brackets for numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 7, nah. 7, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, and then let's say we want to print. I'm going to say print the list. And that's because that's the name of our list here. So we use that same variable. I'm going to say dot count, like we did before. Now this time you actually don't need the little brackets. Or apostrophes, pardon me. Um, to count for is the letters. As far as counting for the numbers, we actually just we'll do without them. I'm going to count the number of threes. Pardon me. Count the number of threes. Up oh, there's two threes in our list. Oh, it pops up as two. Uh oh, something's wrong. Well, I noticed here that we're not running the right file. We gotta run the counting numbers file. That makes a little bit more sense. So now when we run it, counting numbers, we get an output of four because there's four number threes in our list. Let's say we want to do count the number of sevens in our list. Oh, there's only one little seven in our list. Cool. And last but not least, let's count the number of fours in our list. And we find out that there's three fours in our list. That's how you count numbers in a string or in a list. Why don't you do example number five? Now we could also count words in a string. So let's say we do another one. File, new, Python file. Let's call this counting underscore words dot py. We'll do another string. In that string, I'm going to say it's a beautiful, sunny, sunny day. So there's our string, it's a beautiful, sunny day. And we're going to do print, so we want to print out to the console and tell us how many words appear. So we do string or variable dot count and then we gotta put our little quotes in and we're gonna count how many times it says sunny. We run it 
We're gonna run counting numbers. Or sorry, counting words, because that's the name of the file we want to run, and we see that it's sunny appears twice. Hence why the number little two appears. Now let's say if I wanted to count how time it says day. If I type in day, and only day only appears once. So it could also count words, which is a pretty nice little feature. So let's say count words in a string. Why don't you do number example number six? You try number six. Alright, next up we're doing counting characters in a string. So let's say we do a new file. So we do file new Python file and in that file we're gonna say counting underscore characters dot py. So we're counting characters. I misspelled it, but that's okay. Type in course. Python for beginners. Print. To count the number of characters, we use this little keyword called lens or L E N. And then we type in our variable of where we want to count. We want to count the numbers in this variable. So Python for beginners. Why don't you count them out and see how many letters it's supposed to be? While I hit run, we count the characters' files. Did you get 20? You should. There's 20 characters in that string. Let's say we want to change it up. We want to say, my name is Brian. As your string, let's see if it still counts. I bet it does. And there's 16 characters in this string. Go to the beach. We get 20 characters there. I like to code. 14 characters there. So that's all the length. Why don't you try example number seven? And then the next video we'll start talking about more uppercase, lowercase. Very good.